we're trying to resolve this multi-chain UX as much as possible. With Avocado, we're trying to abstract the network away. The first part of it was that you can use any dApp without switching your network. And the gas abstraction is the one of the biggest on the simplicity side. But with Avocado, you can just instantly get started because we are just solving it for you. You can recharge your gas from any chain. You can use it on any chain. You can pay on your gas with USDC and then the account abstraction. It allows you to simplify the overall experience for the user in many different ways. Hey everyone, welcome to the Edge podcast. I'm DeFi Dad from Fourth Revolution Capital. I'm joined here by my co-host from 4RC Nomadic. Today we've got a special episode covering some new and powerful products engineered by the team at Instadap. You probably know Instadap if you've been in DeFi for any amount of time. They've been a darling of the DeFi space. Now, the products that we're going to talk about today, depending on when you listen to this, have potentially not been released. And so this would appropriately be labeled as an episode of Alpha. Uh, on that note, uh, Nomadic, how do you describe Instadap to DeFi newbies? Yeah, good question. Uh, to be honest, I've always known about Instadap, but I'd actually never really delved too deeply into it until recently. Uh, and and at your request, DeFi Dad, you've been you've been talking about Instadap forever, and I finally looked into it, and I kind of went from like zero to one hundred. And full disclosure, I'm also a token holder. Uh, I hold the Inst token, but I guess if I was kind of describing it to a DeFi newbie. I would say that it supercharges your DeFi experience by adding extra features and efficiencies to pre-existing DeFi protocols. Yeah, there, there's a, a history for me personally with Instadap. I had used it, uh, you know, simply for the, the the fundamental value of being able to like manage my assets with some special tools they offered when they first launched. Uh, and this is normally. Uh, a, a tool for like managing uh, a loan, some sort of like borrowed position on something like Maker or Compound. But what kicked off DeFi Summer was the the Compound Comp Token Liquidity Mining Rewards Program, and a part of the reason things accelerated so quick quickly was because Instadap created uh, some flash loan recipes that allowed you to basically wind up leverage stablecoin positions. I mean, you could technically borrow whatever you wanted against whatever collateral, but what made a lot of sense was to normally deposit something like DAI and to borrow DAI against that so that you were basically holding a non-liquidatable position. So anyways, it's crazy to see just how much they've developed over the years into this DeFi superpower and uh, back then, they didn't have a token. Now they do, which we'll, we'll talk a bit about how that token is integral to Instadap today. Introducing Mantle. Mantle is the first modular layer two solution built for hyperscale dApps. We separate execution, data availability, and transaction finality into separate layers. This allows us to increase transaction throughput while keeping fees low and maintaining the security and decentralized nature of Ethereum. Join us in building on Mantle Testnet today and be a part of the future of Web3. Whether you're a trader, farmer, analyst, or newbie, you can trade smart with KyberSwap, the OG decentralized exchange and aggregator on 13 chains. Swap at the best rates, farm with real yields, set limit orders, use their proprietary trading and AI tools with the best UX in DeFi, securely and permissionlessly. Get better rates, better opportunities, better alpha, and a better trading experience. Trade smart now at kyberswap.com. Gtrade by Gains Network is a decentralized leverage trading platform, allowing users to synthetically trade crypto, forex, stocks, and commodities with up to 1,000x leverage. Gtrade is live on both Polygon and Arbitrum, with over 30 billion in all-time trading volume and nearly 50 million in vault liquidity. The platform has consistently been among the top earning protocols, with seven-figure monthly revenue and a net deflationary token. Gtrade has become an on-chain staple for both traders and yield seekers. Check them out at gains.trade or by searching Gains Network on Twitter. 
future of Web3 is bright, but crypto startups, DAOs, and on-chain organizations can't scale without tooling to power world-class financial and payment operations. Introducing Utopia, your all-in-one platform to create, execute, and understand your Gnosis safe transactions. Execute payroll 10x faster through automated payment plans. Coordinate reimbursements and accounts payable through payment requests. Execute multi-sig transactions faster with your global team through signing links. View, label, and categorize all of your safe transactions in one place. Start managing your on-chain payments today by going to utopialabs.com. To get started with gasless payments, message Utopia's co-founder on Twitter at 0xKaito. So before we get started, Sam, which is what he goes by, created InstaDAP at an ETH Global Hackathon in India in 2018 with his brother, Same. Uh, since then, InstaDAP has been trusted with as much as $13 billion uh, at any one time uh, in their smart contracts. The InstaDAP platform is today a full-featured platform for both users and developers to leverage the full potential of DeFi. We're going to talk about what all of that means and, and what are some of those new products today. The InstaDAP protocol uh, acts as a middleware that ultimately aggregates multiple DeFi protocols into one upgradable smart contract layer. And so you can think of it as a one-stop shop for DeFi. I have always referred to it as a DeFi Superman cape. You put it on and you can do things that you otherwise couldn't have done without InstaDAP. And so on that note, Sam, welcome to the Edge podcast. How are you doing? Hey, uh, thanks for having me. I'm doing really good and really excited to discuss about all the new things that's been going on within Startup lately. Yeah, so I want to cover uh, some of the history that, that I, I, I briefly described there of InstaDAP. Basically, what is InstaDAP and, and how do users uh, use it today? But then more recently, you all released this avocado wallet, uh, which offers some very powerful features that I, I think uh, will be uh, very utilized over the, the coming years. But uh, because we're in a crypto bear market, I, I think there's definitely some value there that more folks need to uh, discover. So there's the Avocado Wallet, and then we'll start to get into some really exciting news about some other products that have yet to release. So do you want to kick off with Maybe that the story I alluded to about you and your brother, you, you, you dropped out of college, right? Like for this, this hackathon or you, you went to the hackathon and then you dropped out of college. Like what, what's the history of that story? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, uh, we always wanted to start something. Um, so I may, if he's my big brother, he started before me. I've basically learned, uh, the coding entirely from him. I, I've learned nothing from the university. Uh, yeah, and he 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 used to experiment with a lot of things. Uh, he have built a different sort of mini projects before it. Um, and yeah, I mean, so we went to the hackathon. Uh, we just did instead app, and then we just that was our first time. Uh, proper int that that was our first ever hackathon, and it was I'm um, glad that it was a Web three and Ethereum ecosystem because of all the support we got from MakerDAO and all the other team that was there early on, the entire Ethereum community. So yeah, I mean, early after winning the hackathon, we just kick-started instead of, we just launched it, made it live. It was more of a hobby thing, but then, uh, like, you know, people started taking it seriously and, uh, like, you know, started uh, playing with it, etc. So yeah, I mean, and with just with fun and we, we were just fun by creating strategy and everything and, and it just became a huge thing over time. Once we raised the funds, it was just our focus was like, um, my when when we were using the funds, my, my state of uh, thing uh, line was like, you know, as soon as we raise the funds, I'm dropping out. So yeah, I mean, and that's what happened as soon as we got the confirmation from Pantera Capital, I instantly dropped out. My brother was already dropped out. He was doing things. And uh, yeah, so that's how it got started. And it's been four years uh, with yeah, I mean, And I think we're at a very good stage, but still lots to grow. Um, like DeFi is probably going to reach trillions of dollars in a few years. Sam, I remember I either asked you this in an interview before, or it's definitely something I've thought a lot about. 
uh, you were creating these flash loan recipes uh, that, again, I would argue were a big reason that the, you know, DeFi summer in 2020 ever happened. Uh, did you ever consider just keeping it all to yourselves? Just, you know, making up these, these recipes, using them. I feel like you and your brother really, you know, you did a service for the DeFi community at the time when uh, you were charging very little, if, if not any fees at that point, uh, you had no token to accrue any value from all the work that you were doing yet. You, you built these tools, which again, I, th I think really allowed a lot of people to ultimately start to make a lot of money uh, in the DeFi space. So I guess what, what prompts you to want to build in DeFi to build for others? So uh, this very interesting thing here is anything we build it, we are also building it for ourselves. Uh, we use all the strategy, all the strategies that I have uh, promoted till now. I, I was personally a user of those strategies before uh, like uh, putting it out there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's like, that's something that we also used to use and we just made it for open, open for everyone so that everyone can have benefit from it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't had uh, any fees for a long time. Then we charged a small fees. But uh, now with Avocado, there are again no fees on the flash loan strategies. So basically, if you use from DSS, you'll have to pay fees. But if you use from Avocado, all the strategies on main Instagram dashboard are free of cost. So yeah, I mean, you can again, you know, experiment with any amount of money, take any amount of flash loans uh, free of cost. So yeah, I mean, I think uh, uh, with, with we are just trying to make the user experience as much better as possible. Hey, Sam, I'm just kind of still uh, thinking over uh, your background there. It it almost sounds like something from a movie or like somebody could make a movie about this story. Like, you know, two two brothers win uh, a hackathon, drop out of college, uh, you know, shortly thereafter have 13 billion of TVL in their protocols. Like, seriously, like we, we should uh, sell this script to Hollywood, man. Like, it, it's a pretty cool story. Um but just getting back to Instadap, I, I want to like, could you walk us through like, if you're new to Instadap, where do you start? So yeah, I mean, uh, so Instadap is, uh, as I say to everyone, the our main dashboard, which is most used uh, till now of all the project protocols, all, all the products that we have built. Um, it's, it's, I specifically tell that it's for DGEN. So, you know, you need to have good DeFi and understanding before you'll be able to start to use it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, our, most of our users in Bad Dashboard are real users who are experimenting with highly advanced strategies. Um, and yeah, I mean, managing the funds by themselves, uh, because that's what real users likes to do, not depend on anyone. But yeah, I mean, for simplify, so for simplifying those strategies, we also released uh, Instead of Light, which was more than a year ago. Basically, it uses the same strategies, but, you know, it just simplifies for the end users so they can just come and deposit their assets without thinking of executing the strategies because it's all automated. And the good thing about all, all of our projects, all, all, all of our products are very interlinked and supportive of each other. So instead of Lite, it uses DSA as the backend. So with our entirely, uh, our infrastructure that was already there, we were able to pull push the strategies out very quickly. And now instead of night is one of the most revenue generating projects for product for instead of as well. But the main thing is it, uh, the amount of people it has impacted now people with one ETH, 10 ETH, 100 ETH, they're also experimenting more than just the people with millions of dollars that used to experiment with instead of dashboard. Um, on contrary to that, uh, we had already ma made a, a good dent uh, with the TVL and uh, uh, and yeah and all the assets that were managed, but we also wanted to make uh, make a dent on you know, numbers of users in impacted. So we recently released Avocado to basically simplify user experience. Now Avocado is the product which is super simple, and it's everyone for uh, who is in DeFi. Uh, our target is to provide better security, simplicity, and yeah, I mean, and more things uh, that they can do, like strategies and stuff. So yeah, I mean, with Avocado, our vision is um, also 
trending towards like impacting more users than a few weird users. So yeah, I mean, that's uh, just a brief history about Instagram. I want to start to dumb down this avocado wallet, like this network abstraction, gas abstraction, account abstraction, like how it all fits together. Uh, but just before we do to, to level set further on Instadap, uh, if you were to go to Instadap, I, I believe the, the protocols that you all support is it's like everything across like uh, Maker to Compound to Aave to there's uh, aspects of Uniswap in there. There's Liquidy uh, and I'm missing a few more there. What are the fees that you charge today? Because uh, there's there's very few fees, which is part of the reason I think we, we've we always been sort of blown away by the ethos behind Instadap to like build these tools that democratize access to powerful, you know, DeFi applications, but to also not uh to uh to also not hit you with these exorbitant fees along the way. So anyways, what are the few fees that you charge? So the only fees that is there in the entire UI is of flash loan fees, uh which is 0.05%. Uh if you use any strategies which involves flash loan. But again, those fees do not apply if you're using Avocado as DSA. So you're u- using Avocado to do all the flash loan things. Avocado is is totally free in that sense. Uh, aside from that, there was uh, fees on automations uh, to save your position. So, you know, Aave automation, etc. Um, we have fees in that, but that's not a huge revenue generating thing as of now, I, I would say. And the third, uh, which is a good revenue generating uh, is instead of Lite, which is generating about 0.8 million a year or something. Uh, there we have uh, 20% fees on the profits of users. So, yeah, I mean, that, um, and, and yeah, so these are the major fees impacting things. And yeah, and as we recently introduced Avocado, Avocado has a very simple sort of fee mechanism where we charge 20% extra on guests, which 10% goes to the DAO and 10% goes to the DAP provider uh, if they integrate Avocado deeply in it. Awesome. Uh, Sam, I'd love to kind of get further into Avocado a little bit. Uh, can you can you like walk walk us through some of the Avocado features and kind of like why it's like a revolutionary new product? And and then also uh, if you can touch on Avocado team as well, that'd be that'd be great. So we at instead of have divided account abstraction at, in, in three uh, different uh, sort of category. One is security second is simplicity and third is strategies so three you can th- also say 3s or something so security is most important uh, uh like it should be most important uh because yeah i mean you're you're playing with your actual funds uh not just data or something so it's just the most important thing to you in the world so so yeah i mean for, for security uh it's a, it provides you equal security as an eoa uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, and also we're releasing one more feature which will allow you to add multiple owners to your Avocado, uh, sorry, Avocado wallet. So basically, uh, this will provide security from any any sort of compromise and stuff. So, you know, you can add, sorry, if you lost your address or something, which is not there in your EOA. This has happened with a lot of users before where they lost their keys and they lost access to the funds because their funds were on EOA. But with Avocado, they can add. Uh, they will soon be able to add multiple owners. So basically, their funds will they can they can access through multiple wallets. It can even be a multi-sig that they can add. Sorry to interrupt, but I just want to define the term EOA for listeners uh, that maybe aren't familiar with it. I I know it is externally owned account, um, but but yeah, just wanted to get that out there. And what does that exactly mean? What is an EOA to you? So EOA is something that allows you to interact with the blockchain um, basically in a very uh, layman terms uh, you have your private key which you can also call it as password and you have your public key which you can also refer to as you know your username or something uh, yeah and you use your private key to do the transaction basically any financial transaction which allows you uh, to have a fully non-custodial um sort of environment which was never been possible before in the entire uh internet ecosystem so yeah i mean it's just a great 
revolution sort of uh but yeah uh, so coming back to the yeah uh, sorry avocado uh and that yeah i mean uh, as we discuss around the security security is our top most focus and it also gets to a next level with avocado teams which which is basically multi sig uh and allows team to manage their funds uh properly but more on that later um then on the simplicity we try to simplify the user experience a lot by account abstraction network abstraction and gas abstraction how we see the the um, the web3 ecosystem going forward is there go there are going to be tens and hundreds of chains there are already tens of chains just considering the ethereum l2s uh and you know in just this month three chains launched which is like just super crazy i'm extremely excited about it so yeah i mean uh so basically and if the the funds are so much going to be scattered around all these chains and managing funds managing different sort of uh, protocols on different chains tapping into different opportunities they're going to be very complex going forward so with uh, with avocado we're trying to abstract the network away the first part of it was that you can use any dap without switching your network uh they can use any dap on any chain without switching any network you can simply just do um and the next that we are soon going to bring is you can basically send your funds to any address on any chain this is a problem that we also face but we want to solve it because uh, generally like we have all our funds on mainnet but we do all our payments on polygon but so you know we want to send funds to a different address on polygon etc so i think yeah i mean we're trying to resolve this multi chain ux as much as possible with uh, all the other protocols uh, collaborating with all the other protocols um who can help us make this possible so yeah i mean and the gas abstraction is the one of the biggest on the simplicity side because as you do a transaction from your eoa uh you need a gas for on each chain and even if the gas is going to be 0.1 sat or or what stand or 10 sat you still need the gas and to bring that gas you, they, it's just a very complex process you know just to get started with a new chain but with avocado you can just instantly get started because we are just solving it for you you can recharge your gas from any chain you can use it on any chain you can pay on your gas with usdc so that also simplifies and also allows you to keep track of your expenses so yeah i mean gas abstraction is another and then the account abstraction is just the thing that everyone is talking about um and it just simplifies it allows you to simplify the overall experience for the user in many different ways um uh, like you know with slash run strategies with adding authorities or just allowing you to do things that were not possible before um even potentially you can also provide solutions like web2 to users who are willing to have those kind of things but yeah i mean that's uh on a very generic level and aside from that uh, uh i'll also touch on the strategy side avocado has an in- inbuilt in a flash tool support and you can basically call anything from within it so basic uh basically your basically for developers your imagination is for is the limits and for users you can do a lot more things if your funds are on avocado rather than if they are on eoa on eoa you won't be able to perform all these strategies but if they are on avocado you can implement any kind of strategies any dapp providers can also provide any kind of strategies for their protocol or anything uh for the small example is you can consider all the protocols that are on instagram already available so so yeah man so basically you can manage your ave position from ave's native ui but if you feel like you want to migrate or refinance your position to compound you can come to instadap ui you can just refinance and you can just start using compound's native ui or instadap's ui so it just gives a lot of freedom to the users it gives the native protocol ui to the users it gives the instadap ui it gives a lot of strategies so just a uh, next gen so this also fulfill all the degen people who just wants to manage their assets as efficient as possible and aside from that uh, we recently launched uh, just yesterday a uh, transaction simulation or i say i'll uh, say like a uh, transaction transparency where basically when you do a transaction it shows you 
what tokens went outside of your wallet, what tokens went came inside and many other sensitive data. So rather than showing you the encoded data that, you know, this is what you're sending on chain, we are filtering out the data for the user and just doing it on the UI. So they can know, like, you know, if they supply it from on Aave, they can see that the, the in the transaction, tra these tokens are going out and Aave's, Aave yield token is coming in, etc, etc. So that allows you, you know, in case you bumped into a, a malicious, malicious, sorry, malicious dApp or any hacked dApp and they're trying to steal your funds, you will know it before you send the transaction. So I think it, it can help to save a lot of funds going forward. With over 170 million TVL cross-chain, the multi-chain liquid staking protocol Stator Labs is just about to launch the ETH liquid staking token ETHX. ETHX will give you the best of decentralized staking and DeFi yields. What's more is that anyone can permissionlessly run an ETHX node with just a 4 ETH bond. To get more alpha on the ETHX launch, go to staterlabs.com slash ethereum. Ethereum is fully decentralized and Liquidity is a shining example of decentralization. Liquidity is a non-upgradable protocol where users can deposit their ETH and take out a loan interest-free. Users get their loans in LUSD, an unstoppable Ethereum native stablecoin that is solely backed by Ether. You can use Liquidity to buy real-world assets or to earn yield across 20-plus places in DeFi. More risk-tolerant users can also use the protocol to lever up on their ETH. With over 750 million worth of ETH locked into Liquidity's unstoppable contracts, get access to real DeFi. DeFi that's immutable, capital efficient, and fully decentralized. Learn more at liquidity.org. So, uh, Sam, to summarize, uh, I think Instadap previously was known for abstracting away the need to navigate platforms. So kind of like a platform abstraction, even though that's not a term that anyone uses. I just made that up. <laughs> And so you would you would come to Instadap as a one-stop shop and you could benefit from what were the best opportunities across something like Compound, Ave, Maker. And and so you all created these tools, which at the time it was the it was the flash loan innovation that allowed us to use Instadap to basically move from maybe like a higher uh, borrowing interest rate to a lower borrowing interest rate. Uh, Today, it feels like that next generation now because of uh, what's possible with account abstraction. It feels like you're now able to allow for this network abstraction. So we today use many different networks. Uh, I think there's something like eight different networks, EVM compatible networks, um, and that includes Ethereum L2s uh, that are uh, possible to use on Instadap. The issue is you have to know how to like bridge across those. Uh, you have to know how to flip the network on your wallet. And although many of us know how to do that, who have been in DeFi for some time, it, yeah, it feels like you're solving for a very difficult UX issue. Like you're trying to think ahead when there are potentially you know, 20 or 100 different L2s. I mean, we've seen multiple ZK roll-up based L2s, uh, ZK EVMs go live in the in the last few weeks. So if if the future is all these different L2s operating, all these different L1s which are already thriving like like a like a Binance Smart Chain or Phantom or Avalanche, uh yeah, it, it seems like you're you're getting ahead of that. You're gonna allow us to be able to transact all in one place without being a, a multi-chain, multi-L2 uh, guru that knows how to bridge and switch networks. Uh, but anyways, am I sort of capturing all that value? Like th this is the start of something bigger. Like you're today, there's eight networks there, but when there's a hundred networks, I, I think like it will make a lot more sense to folks just like why this is so uh, urgently needed by users. Yeah, and also there are some things just to simplify uh, experience that a lot of the people don't don't focus on is like for a new user who is just coming to the industry, gas limit and gas price is just very foreign. Um, most users, uh, 
for on specially especially on L2 will just prefer to spend send the transaction at a high gas. So we don't show any of those gas limit gas press. We just show that this is the amount of gas you you will be charged the range from one to two USDC or whatever it is. And I think even though not showing more here is just a better way for these users like we are very technical users and we understand all the things but for new users they don't know how to set a gas price or even me i don't know what is the gas price going on polygon or arbitrum because it differs a lot and even the gas limit differs a lot so you know just abstracting that away just giving a straight up price people are even fine with paying more if they're just getting a better experience. That's what we have noticed with Avocado till now. Sam, I, I like this pattern of you developing products almost for yourself first, because you realize what you would want to use, and then you start using it, you build it, and then you build it for the rest of us. And I think that's like a really natural, organic way to build things, like finding the problems and then and then building for them so so others can can use them. Uh, we, we touched a bit on Avocado Team. I'd, I'd just like you to go a little bit more in depth on Avocado Team. I'm assuming that came from a pain point of, of your own, just realizing a need for it, and then you built it. But yeah, we'd just love to hear a little bit more about it. We are giving all the services that we already provide on Avocado like network abstraction, gas abstraction, SIEM addresses on all chains. Currently, the pain point with multisig is you have many different addresses on different chains and it has also resulted in different sort of scenarios like winter mute lost some on optimism uh, due to sending a wrong address or something. Uh, and this is like, uh, this happens very rare, but some and it happens, a person basically lose the entire you know, a lot, huge amount of their assets, sort of. So, yeah, I mean, we're just trying to simplify all these things. Also, like, how best you can manage your funds, because that's, like, one of the pain points for us as well, uh, generating transactions, keeping track of transactions, or doing some basic things like, you know, vesting to people, getting more people on board, uh, payments and other things. So, we're just trying to build a tool which allows you to also use DeFi very efficiently but at the same time allows you to manage your funds very efficiently so uh, for teams who wants to you know, manage their funds for VCs who wants to you know invest in startups etc etc that's what the Avocado team will be more focused around uh, we'll try like it won't have any sort of developer nonsense it will be mainly focused around funds just like how Instead app was till now uh the main ui which allows you to do many things here also there will be some toolings and other things which just fulfills all the need and which we, we're just collecting feedbacks from more people from more people as of now but we are surely going to solve our own problems which we face around fund management which is uh distributing salaries and vestings and other sort of things and on that so Sam, to sort of wrap up here on the Avocado wallet, if I'm a, a DeFi user and I want to get started with it, what would you recommend? So yeah, I mean, in short, uh, the best process to uh, get started with Avocado as of now is just, you know, connect with uh, uh, avocado.instadapp.io. It will show you to import your assets. Soon we're bringing import your DeFi positions as well. So users can just go to that single UI. They can just import their app positions, DeFi positions, assets, etc., on all the chains from a single UI, and then they can just get started. So instantly, within a five ten minutes, their entire Avocado wallet is set up with all their existing funds, and they can just use it as usual on any DApp that they are used to. Uh, switching gears here a little bit, Sam. So correct me if I'm wrong, but the the current kind of like fee value accrual uh, through the East. Instadap ecosystem is the flash loan aggregator uh, through Instadap Lite and through now Avocado Wallet. Um, I saw a proposal go up recently, and I don't think it's passed yet, but it, it looks like a lot of those um, kind of like value streams will start flowing towards the Dow Treasury uh, if this proposal passes. Uh, what like what are the impacts of that? Like, do you see a proposal in the future where uh, Instadap or Inst holders, uh, token holders will accrue 
some sort of value or 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 pass through fees from this? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, uh, that that proposal was mainly to uh, collect. Uh, like currently, Instead has around one point three million treasury. Um, pretty small, but it's it's growing uh, very nicely. I expect it, you know, to uh, by the end of the year, it to become ten million or something. But let's see. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we the, this proposal was to build a standard around it, so that all the assets are at a single place from where we can decide how to like the governance can decide how to better distribute it among all the things and how to better utilize it for more Insta apps growth. Uh, yeah, and I'll be fu- in fully in support of you know d- distributing uh treasury to the to INST holders and other people uh, on, on that contrary. But the main thing that uh, we should keep in mind is um, if any regulation problem, ca- it, uh, if there can be any regulation problems that can incur in a short term, I think in long term we'll have clarity to, you know, without any problems. But recently, I think SET sued Shusi Swap and other dApps, but all the biggest dApps still now, like uh, MakerDAO or Uniswap or Compound, Aave, they have not yet started to distribute, you know, revenue stream to their tokens. I expect everyone to do it sometime in future, but that's just something to keep in mind before starting that process. Uh, that you know, it doesn't go negative in that way. But in general, I'll I'll be um you know I also hold myself a lot of in- INSTM. I'll I'll pro- I'll. I would want that to happen in in that sense. I would highly recommend to folks if you are interested in learning about the Avocado Wallet, uh, you can go to avocado.instadap.io. Uh, I have set up my Avocado Wallet, so I, I was able to just go to the site, follow the prompts there, and uh, what, what one of the like very first steps is it will kind of walk you through depositing assets from any of the supported chains. And so like an example here is I had about 100 DAI on the Ethereum mainnet uh, controlled by this wallet that ultimately controls my my avocado wallet. And so I, I just went through the usual process like you would with Instadap of actually getting that, that DAI deposited. But once the DAI is in my avocado wallet, now this like super DeFi wallet allows me to transact across all the different supported chains. And and then with like Instadap, for example, uh, connecting it is as simple as just copy pasting a link because you're actually connecting it through Wallet Connect. So anyways, call to action here is go to avocado.instadap.io to learn more. And then Sam, do you uh, feel comfortable kind of walking us through just some examples of, of these transactions? Yeah, um, I'll just give a quick demo around it. Avocado basically connects with Avocado Network, which is just a network aggregator. So I'm just switching the network to Avocado. This is network ag- aggregator, the securities of the base chain. So let's say I'm managing funds on Ethereum. So my security is equal to the Ethereum base chain, just like what I get with an EOA. Uh, the Avocado uh, node is just a uh, RPC aggregator, doesn't have any chain or anything. So yeah, now I'm connected with a uh, main instant app dApp. I can also get connected with multiple dApps at once. So I'm just connecting Aave here and I'm connected with Aave. Uh, and yeah, so basically just, I'm, I'm going to show a demo and here Avocado Wallet is used as a, as a smart account, not the DSAs that we have existing. Uh, I'll just try to do some transaction and see how things pop up on the UI. So it's just super simple on on the user experience. I'm just trying to do the legendary uh, strategy of uh, uh, STF ETH leveraging strategy. Just going to run leverage and the transaction pop up. But yeah, now we can see like how the how what all the tokens are touching your wallet, etc. etc. Et so like you know you're giving approval. You're you know uh, the the many different things uh, like flash loan, flash loan is being used as a strategy. Whatever the tokens that are touching your wallet, you're, you're able to see like how the transaction is going. You can also calculate like, you know, what you're doing is right or not. Uh, this is 
slightly a complex transaction but if we do a simple transaction it will get much easier just like let's say i'll just borrow one eat from my Aave position now this will be considerably simple to understand it's just doing a few things like i'm borrowing one eat and i'm getting Aave variable that eat token uh which Aave has so basically in the end i have one eat in my wallet and i have one variable that eats token of Aave. this is how the transaction goes so it provides a better breakdown of the transaction so users know what they're actually doing uh yeah and we it will also support nfts and other sensitive data like owner update or any kind of things that happens in the transaction uh to provide as much transparency to the user as possible oh just uh, one question on that that transaction that that we just rejected uh the fees were in usdc right oh yeah so i'll just pop up again so this is the transaction uh yeah you can see it's ethereum mainnet so the fees is considerably high uh, but yeah, you can just pay with USDC on any chain, doesn't matter. I have the gas on my USDC tank here, so I can just use it and I can just use it on any chain. So, and I, I don't have to even shift. So let's say I am just going to use here the polygon, uh, and I'll just click switch network here and I don't have to do anything. And now, uh, my Aave is already shifted to polygon. So I'm using insert app on mainnet. I'm using Aave on polygon. Uh, just the experience is super smooth. I don't have to really worry about so many pop-ups coming up. And now I can just uh, basically supply here. And now I'm doing a transaction on Polygon, approving USDT on Polygon. This is the old transaction. Uh, yeah. And you can see like I'm approving and how much up approval I'm giving. I'm giving an infinite on our app to our.com and the gas price is, you know, Polygon is super cheap. This is the, I'll just go ahead and do the transaction on this. And also like as I'm managing, let's say this position on mainland, if I also see it on Aave, let's say Aave V3. So um, I'll be able to see the same position because I'm connecting with the. So yeah, here you can see like this is my position on InstaDap and on Aave. So I can be, I'm basically managing the same position from two different UIs. Uh, on instead of I can execute any strategy on our way I can just be comfortable with their UI etc so this is also I think a great feature where user have more freedom over any interfaces they want so now that we've talked through all of the present day products of Instadap we really want to know what's coming next and we know that you've been working on an enormous uh, add-on to the value of what Instadap uh, offers and DeFi. So can you start to talk us through this, you know, top secret project you've been working on called Yeah, I'm extremely uh, excited to talk about it. So yeah, uh, you can say as the next generation of protocol, a DeFi protocol. And it's innovating on many fronts. Uh, it took us more than a year to, you know, engineer it, uh, design it, and make it probably one of the most uh, efficient protocol ever. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you're a talented builder like Sam, please consider reaching out to our team at fourthrevolution.capital. And for future episodes of the Edge podcast, please check out our link tree at edge underscore pod. Yeah.